Hello class, this is section 3.1 and in this video we are going to discuss linear independent, linearly independent functions. So we say that two functions fx and gx are linearly independent if neither is a multiple of the other. In other words, f is not a multiple of g, g is not a multiple of f. When I say multiple, I mean a constant multiple. So this is uh, going to be a very a pretty simple concept, but let's go through a few examples just to nail it down. So here's an example. Are sine x and cosine x linearly independent? Okay, so the question is, are sine x and cosine x linearly independent? Is sine x a multiple of cosine? So a way to do that is just to divide the two functions sine x divided by cosine x is, of course, if you remember your trigonometry, equal to tangent x. But this is not a constant. So since tangent x is not a constant, it follows that sine is not a multiple, a constant multiple of cosine, and cosine is not a constant multiple of sine. And this means that sine x, cosine x, are linearly independent. Okay, here's another example. Are two x squared and minus half x squared linearly independent? Well, uh, typically a very good way to check is just by dividing the two functions. So you have 2x squared over minus half x squared. So you can just cancel off the x squared on both sides and you get minus 4. This is constant. So x, 2x squared and minus half x squared are not linearly independent. And this is because uh, 2x squared is a constant multiple oops, sorry, um, times xy. Oops, so this is, should be minus 4. So you have a constant multiple, so this is not uh, linearly independent. So it's typically easy just to look at a f two of the two functions and tell that they are linearly independent. I'm going to show you one more example. This is slightly tricky. Are uh, 0 and e to the x linearly independent? And the answer to this question is actually no, because um, 0 is equal to 0 times e to the x, so 0 is a constant multiple of ex. And to note, any collection of functions, oops, any collection of functions that include 0 is never linearly independent. Okay, so it's a very simple concept, just to check whether one function is a multiple of the other, and we're good. 